What's up, everybody? I'm back, and I'm going to be making some salmon croquettes. So let's get started. Bam! All right, I have all my ingredients here for my salmon croquettes. The main ingredient is our salmon. I'm using Honey Boy. Whatever salmon you can find in the can is fine. Uh, and for my breading, I'm going to be using cornmeal and the fish fry. I'm going to combine those together. I have one egg, black pepper, Tony Satcher's, onion powder, garlic powder. And here I have chopped up a white potato, a very small white potato. I'm going to boil it and then I'm going to mash it and add it to the mixture. It adds uh, moisture to the salmon croquette so it's not really dry. And this is um, a little tidbit that my great aunt gave our family years ago. So we've been using that and it's very, very good. So let's get this ball rolling. Okay, I've mashed up the potato and I'm going to add it to our salmon bowl here. And then we're gonna mix it really well. And if you didn't get it all mashed, you just mash up what needs to be mashed. And you just use that. It's really, really good now. If you wanna use mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes or something like that i i don't know how well that'll work i've never tried it but you can try it and then let me know okay so now we're going to make our patties salmon patties together i have uh leftover louisiana fish fry season uh seafood breading that i'm using this one has real lemon added so we're gonna add that in. And I'm also going to add some cornmeal. And I'm just gonna mix all that together. All right. Now I like to use a spoon to scoop my, or can you see what I'm doing? Let me move down there so you can see. I like to use a spoon to scoop my um, meat for my patty, so the patties will be kind of uniform. And then I just set them in the breading mix. Yep, there's one left on. And in this one can, you can get maybe six patties. Okay, and then I just toss them with the inside of the breading. Set it to the side. I grew up on salmon croquettes. I love them, and like I said, um, this is my great aunt's recipe with the mashed potato on the inside to make it a little moist. So now I have those two, and we're just gonna keep on going. Okay, here are my six patties. My oil is heating up, so I'm gonna Get ready to start frying them up. All right, I have my fish patties already. My grease is hot. If you look at the, you can see the, the wooden spoon, the grease is boiling, bubbling around that. So that's the indication that the grease is ready to fry. So I'm gonna put my fish in there, salmon. Guys, I barely made six patties with this can. Sometimes the can has more 
Here we go. So they've cooked on one side and should be ready to turn over. Okay. Our fish, salmon croquettes are ready. So I'm going to take them out of the oil and place them on a rack. I like placing all my fried foods on a rack so it stays crispy. And then the grease can drain and it will still be nice and crunchy. It's one of the patties. It's gonna be good with some hot sauce. Some of that hot sauce. This is a good one. Crazy. As you can see, the salmon croquette, and this is the squash. And I'm telling you, if you put that mashed potato in your salmon croquettes, you're gonna see the difference in how moist, how moist it is. As I mentioned, that was, um, Again, a recipe from my great aunt. Every time she would come and visit, we would want her to make those, make these and her fried green tomato. She was a really good cook. That's my mom's aunt. My mom is a great cook as well. That's where I get it from. Mm. This is really, really good. Try to get the inside so you can see how it looks on the inside. Got some hot sauce strolling down the middle. Let me, let me see another side of it. All right. See that? I've got it. guys like subscribe and share